Hello, this is Patrick. You're watching Tesla Trip. Please subscribe to the video if you want to see more of these and be notified whenever the latest breaking Tesla news happens. So I was able to attend the Tesla Model Y unveiling event. I thought I'd just share my experience with you guys so you can see what it was like to attend the event. Some, a lot of the behind the scenes stuff that was going on, as well as some insight from actually getting to ride in a Model Y and an explanation of why I broke it or how I broke it. Arriving in LA, a lot of people got together at this event for Tesla YouTubers and social media and enthusiasts. And it was kind of fun to meet up with a lot of people that, you know, watch this show. Thank you guys if you were there for attending and getting a chance to say hi, <laughs> as well as a lot of other, you know, YouTubers with a lot higher subscriber counts than me. And then we went over to the Tesla Model Y unveiling event, huge line. And out front, they had the Supercharger version 3 demo. So they had a couple Model 3s there and a couple chargers showing that it could indeed charge at a thousand miles per hour on Tesla's most efficient long range Model 3. So that was pretty cool to see in person. You could see how much thinner the cable is right here. There we are. Thousand, thousand. <laughs> then once we got inside, it was kind of a mixer where everybody could kind of talk and theorize about what they thought the Model Y was gonna be for the specs. 38, everybody's thinking 39, 40, 38. And for the most part, I think everybody was right on. <laughs> then Elon finally took the stage, showed off his new kicks, and explained a brief history of the Tesla brand and where it came from making. Yeah, the difficulty and value of manufacturing is underappreciated. It's insanely difficult. It's, it's like relatively easy to make a prototype and extremely difficult to mass manufacture that prototype. Uh, one car 11 years ago on that day to making over 550,000 cars. And basically why he named everything the way it was, building up to the sexy lineup where he brought on the Model Y. So. The Model Y first pulling out, everybody was like, wait a second, that's just a Model 3, but just a little bit bigger. And when you get closer to it, this is where things really kind of change. Yes, the front of it looks a lot like a Model 3, but it, it is, it's quite a bit bigger than a Model 3. It's quite a bit taller than a Model 3. Everything sits a little bit higher than a Model 3. It's got the exact same doors and front end as a Model 3, but it has the roof of a Model S. So it's an all glass panoramic roof from like the Model S because of the way the hatchback is. And then, uh, of course, the back's a little bit closer to a Model X, it's its own thing. And then all the trim on it, on the bottom of it, is is black like a Model X. So it's a little bit more rugged plastic instead of paint. So if you, you know, are going off-road or whatever the case may be, that's a little bit different. And then it's Chrome Delete by default. There's no chrome. <laughs> and I, I personally like the chrome, but I don't know. It's it, it makes it a different variant of a Tesla. So, I mean, the Model Y is kind of like a blend of all the Teslas right now. And I think that's really cool. What What's the, the big news about it? Well, it's basically an SUV that's got, in, for the class of an electric car, has the best range. We're talking a 300-mile range on the top end. And on the low end, the, the price is going to be $39,000. Now, that's going to be in 2021. You'll be able to get the performance and dual motor configurations in tw late 2020. And then it's also got a, a third row. So that's, that's the big deal, really. I mean, this is going to be an affordable third row electric vehicle, which I think the Model X is really the only one right now. And you'll be able to get this for around $42,000. It's like a $2,000 upgrade. That said, they're small seats. They're bigger than the Tesla jumper, Tesla Model S jumper seats that were in the, the third row of the Tesla Model S. They're slightly smaller than the Model X seats. And so they say it's seats seven adults. They showed it on stage. I would say they're not for large or tall adults. Okay. 
I would say they're not for large or tall adults, but definitely kids for sure. And then I'm not sure about what where the storage goes. It looks like there's a very deep frunk, and I imagine the in the trunk the the deepness of that extra space behind the seats is going to be pretty pretty decent as well. The overall storage capacity is uh, the second largest of all the Teslas, so it's pretty exciting stuff. You can actually order it right now. It's $2,500 to order. It's not a pre-order. So you're actually buying the vehicle. You can go online and configure it immediately, which is a huge departure from what Tesla normally does. It's usually a $1,000 deposit now, and when they get closer to building them, then you can do the order. It is fully refundable, so there's not as much risk uh, if you want to place the order right now. Other Tesla news other than the Model Y, I just saw on Twitter that the Advanced Summon is being pushed out to early access people, so hopefully I might get it pretty soon. I can make a video on it. I'm pretty stoked. This is where from 150 feet away or basically line of sight, you can summon the vehicle to come to you from a parking lot, uh, from a parking space, like in navigate around cars and all, all kinds of stuff. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, please subscribe if you haven't. And if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, how did I break the Model Y? So if you watch the live streams, there's a lot more detail about what went on or, or the YouTube event um, before the show and after the, the unveiling where I got to do a test ride in a Model Y. It was a super fast, super short test ride because they only had one prototype that I could tell. And when I got out, there was a piece of trim sticking out and it caught on my shoe and I ripped off a huge chunk of it. And, oh, oh man. Oh, that's okay, no worries. Oh, I'm so sorry. That's okay. That's okay. No it snagged on my no foot. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I broke the Y. <laughs> I don't know, I feel bad about it, but really, you know, it was a prototype. It must've had a piece sticking out, people getting in and out of it all night and I was 350 some, so. I ripped off the trim in there, so they'll have to 3D print or whatever to mold another piece of trim. Or maybe it's the same trim as the Model 3. That is the one big thing about the Model Y and the 3, is the interior is almost identical. Uh, Elon was saying, I, I can't remember the percentage, something like 80% or something of the car is shared with the Model 3. So, you know, the, the dash, the vents, the seats. Uh, the, the only thing that's different about the seats is they're on a little platform to be raised a little bit higher, so you sit up higher like an SUV. Anyways, again, thank you for watching. Uh, you can tweet me at Walking Crow on Twitter. You can email me, Patrick, at teslatrip.com. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye! <laughs>